Tomorrow, Texas Governor Abbott is scheduled to hold a press conference as a Venezuelan street gang takes over a hotel in El Paso. So this is the same gang whose members are accused of committing crimes in Colorado, including in an apartment complex. Lieutenant Christopher Oliveras is of the Texas Department of Public Safety, joins us now. Uh, thank you so much for being here. What do you make, I mean, how does this happen? Just for viewers out there watching, how, how does a, a gang and why does a gang take over a hotel? Well, good morning to the three of you. It's great to be with you, you know, all three of you. Uh, of course, you know, for the viewers, one thing to understand is that this gang, of course, all what we're seeing right now on TV, what we've been seeing, you know, over the last two and a half years, especially now with migrant crime, with some of these crimes that are being committed throughout the country at the hands of illegal immigrants, is could have clearly been prevented if, for one, we had a secured border and policies that would have been enforced on day one, as opposed to everything that was completely reversed by the current federal government. That's why we're seeing this result of what's happening throughout the country. This is something that we have warned us as law enforcement that this was going to be a devastating impact. It was going to have a devastating impact when you allow tens and tens of thousands and now even millions now of illegal immigrants unvetted released to the country. This is a result of that. And now trying to play cleanup. And what I mean by that is trying to go back and now identify these individuals that are in the country right now that do have criminal backgrounds that are committing crimes. How do you get them removed and how you identify them? Now you have this gang that before, you know, all we would talk about is MS-13. This gang, uh, Tende Aragua, also known, also referred to as TDA, has grown so much, even more than, than so than MS-13. And they're not only, you know, taking over hotels, but these gangs are in line with the Mexican drug cartels. It has been confirmed that TDA is in line with the Sinaloa cartel, which is one of the most powerful cartels in Mexico, and also the Juarez cartel, which operates directly across from El Paso. This gang should not be taken lightly, and that's why Governor Abbott has a plan in place, and he will announce that tomorrow, and how we're going to, you know, we're, how we're going to implement our efforts in Texas to go after this gang. Lieutenant, it's really important. Thank you for joining us on this. It's such an important topic. Um, we know that this gang, as you said, is, is not only operating um, with the cartels, but they're deeply involved in child trafficking, in sex trafficking, and sex slavery of children. This administration has lost 300,000 children, most of them Hispanics. And I have been hearing more and more from Hispanic citizens that they are so angry that the Democrat Party has no compassion for these children. They're angry. They're, they're saying, those are Hispanic kids. You know, they don't, Rachel, we've talked about this, you and I, over the years, about, you know, know. unaccompanied children, how children are being exploited at the border, and the fact that it really, it's not being talked to, and it's not being talked about so much. But when you have a gang like this, TDA, that has been able to infiltrate the United States and has been able to expand their criminal network throughout the United States, not just inviting crimes such as assaults, assaults against law enforcement, kidnapping, smuggling, murder, but now the exploitation of children. That's why some of these mm. hotels that are used, they're used for prostitution, yes. uh, for sex crimes. You know, that's why this gang should not be taken lightly. And that's why, you know, yet to date, you know, we've seen what's happened over the last two and a half years. The fact that we've had the most, you know, destructive situation on our border than we've ever experienced. But now moving forward, what is the plan from the federal government to move forward? How they're going to attack and go after this gang, TDA, uh, because they haven't done so. And, and they continue to release Venezuelans, not only at ports of entry through the CBP-1 app, but also direct flights from their home country into the United States. So what are they doing to prevent this? What are they doing to vet these individuals that, are, that they're releasing to the country? Well, they're doing absolutely nothing. And now Texas law enforcement and other law enforcement agencies are having to identify these individuals and then try to, obviously, if they, if they commit a crime, then we can prosecute them for a crime. But other than that... Um, we don't know how many right now are in the country right now. There's thousands. Well, we, we showed a map while you were talking about where there's reported incidences from Trinidad, Aragua. It's got Indianapolis, Indiana. Everyone knows about Colorado, Wisconsin, Texas, Florida, New York. So as you point out, we've become familiar with MS-13. Unfortunately, now we have to become familiar with Trinidad, Aragua as well. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Oliveras, thanks for being with us Thank this you, morning. Thank you, sir. Thank you, all three. Appreciate it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.